And now, this is News Views, a newscast for Champaign-Urbana, Illinois, and the world. And now, Michael Badger. Hello and welcome to News View. I'm Michael Badger. Tonight's top story... And tonight's top story is, according to the Associated Press and the Republic.com, which is a, a f- website of a newspaper in Columbus, Indiana, that I often get stories from, according to Associated Press, state officials in Illinois say they have found more than 1,100 inmates who they believe improperly collected unemployment benefits totaling more than $2 million while jailed in Illinois sometime in about the last year. One Cook County inmate collected almost $43,000 according to the Illinois Department of Employment Security though most were paid far or less. Nearly all of the fraud occurred in the mid-2012, in mid-2012 from the county jails across the state. Department officials told the Associated Press on Tuesday that many of the recipients could face charges, though some may not have some may have been paid too little to make prosecution worthwhile. Um, They say most of the recipients were in Cook County, which is the state's most populous county, where the department found 296 inmates that it believes improperly collected more than $722,000. Other areas were large numbers of jail inmates who, according to the department, wrongfully collected benefits include Will County, where 21 inmates collected $85,159, Winnebago County, which has one of Illinois' highest unemployment rates at 12% in August, where 20 inmates collected $84,533. Lake County, where 20 inmates collected $76,017 and Peoria County, where 21 inmates collected $72,350. And you can read more about that at therepublic.com. And a zoo says a liver, liver problem is to blame for a panda cub's death, according to ABC News and the Associated Press. And... Brett Zonker at the Associated Press says liver trouble killed a giant panda cub that died suddenly last month, less than a week after its surprise birth at the National Zoo, the Institute's chief veterinarian said on Thursday. Uh, Susan Murray said that the panda cub's death uh, the cause was liver ne- ne- necrosis or the death of liver cells. Murray said at a news conference, the cub's lungs were also underdeveloped and likely didn't provide enough oxygen to the liver. The cub's underdeveloped lungs may have been caused by being born prematurely, Murray said. Zoo scientists are trying to learn more about how common the liver and lung defects are in newborn pandas that don't survive. The cub, a female, was born September 16th. Zoo officials and panda fans were devastated by its death less than a week later. 
The birth was a surprise because it hadn't been clear whether Mia Xing was still fertile. Don Moore, the zoo's associate director for animal scientists, sciences, said panda mother Mi Zong has been showing less mothering behavior and has stopped cradling a toy in recent days. And according to the New York Times at nytimes.com, China's Mo Yan has won the Nobel Literature Prize. According to Reuters and China Daily, and Shara Loyal and Andrew Jacobs. Dateline London. Mo Yan, a widely prolific and internationally renowned Chinese author who considers himself non political but who's embraced by the ruling Communist Party, has drawn criticism from dissident writers was on Thursday awarded the 2012 Nobel Prize in Literature. He, and he signed autographs at a book fair in Frankfurt in 2009. And a picture included in this story that isn't there. And it looks like the uh, New York Times site has a problem. But, but um, in other news, it is now known that mice who previously were believed to not have voice or vocal cord changes much actually do. In fact, mice can attract females by singing in harmony with um, other male mice to attract female mice. That's right. When mice sing in harmony, they can attract a mouse of the other uh, sex. And that's according to ology.ology.com. And if you've watched any presidential debate news or um, political ad news or about anything in politics lately, you've probably heard about um, the debate in which President presidential candidate, the Republican presidential candidate, Mitt Romney, brought up Big Bird. That's right, Big Bird from Sesame Street. And President Obama has been, um, he's even gone so far as to make this ad I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. Bernie Madoff, Ken Lay, Dennis Kozlowski, criminals, gluttons of greed, and the evil genius who towered over them? One man has the guts to speak his name. Big Bird. Big Bird. Big Bird. It's me, Big Bird. Big, yellow, a menace to our economy. Mitt Romney knows it's not Wall Street you have to worry about. It's Sesame Street. I I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. Mitt Romney taking on our enemies no matter where they nest. This ad is the funniest thing I've seen. i to come out of politics in a long time, I'd say. Um... So, um, of course, it was Thursday night's debate, <clears throat> and um, I don't know what happened at it yet because it's Thursday when I do this show before the debate. Then it's Friday now when you're seeing this, probably. And in other news, college football fans prefer Romney, according to a poll that, according to USA Today, uh, and Paul 
Meyerberg of USA Today. The votes have been counted. He says the majority of college football fans would rather sit to Mitt, ne, sit next to Mitt Romney than President Obama at their team's upcoming home game, according to the Discover Fan Loyalty Poll. The poll, which is conducted by Rasmus, Rasmussen Reports, found that 53% of fans would elect to sit elbow to elbow with Mitt Romney, while 42% would choose Obama. So, uh, in other news, yesterday, or the day before, when you're probably seeing this, WCIA and WBGL and the uh, broadcasting community and... Um, Viewers lost lost a, a local icon in um, weather forecasting and reporting. WCIA meteorologist Robert Reese passed away Tuesday night at a hospital in Chicago, according to WCIA.com or IllinoisHomePage.net. WCIA TV Channel 3 is the local CBS affiliate in Champaign, Illinois. And Robert Reese is um, loss. Our loss of Robert Reese is, is kind of big. Uh, he, it says he'd been battling pneumonia recently and dealing with cancer for many years. Robert began his career at WCIA 3 in 1998 and served as the station's chief meteorologist for nearly four years. Um, I remember um, watching him uh, do the weather, of course, um, I remember um, recently watching him talk uh, the people in the morning weren't there who were going to uh, do something with food, so he uh, made nachos. He made real nachos, Robert Reese did, live on the air. It went on and on. He told the history, the true story of the original nachos. And he, he did so many things. He provided a, a good sense of humor. He uh, seemed like a nice guy. I never met Robert Reese, but um, our, our condolences, condolences and uh, prayers for his family are, are definitely there as they get through this difficult time. Uh, I saw Channel 3 News last night, and uh, uh, Jennifer Roscoe looked like she was about to cry. She sounded like it, and uh, I wouldn't blame her. Um, she, she, they all knew him, and we all knew uh, Robert Reese, even if we didn't really know him personally. And uh, our next story from uh, WCIA.com, IllinoisHomePage.net, Channel 3, TV3, and Champaign, Illinois. They say a man was sentenced for money laundering. This is Dateline Kankakee, which is north of here. Channel 3 goes into that area. Um, News View does not, but you can watch online now at UrbanaPublicTelevision.org. A man convicted of money laundering through his illegal gambling business will spend a year behind bars. Jimmy Lascost will also have to turn over more than four million dollars in money brought in th through the operation and forfeit 300 video gambling machines and nine properties. The 66-year-old will report to prison in January. His son, Michael, will serve a year of probation. 
on house arrest. And one more story here. In Springfield, Illinois, according to Channel 3 News, if you've been paying attention to the ads in the 13th district race, they say, you probably see the controversy with all the negative ads. Uh, but now a positive ad is sparking a few questions, says WCIA 3's Steve Stager as he examines the commercial. The ad features Dr. David Gill, the Democratic candidate. He discusses a patient he treated in the ER, but the patient sounds awfully familiar, they say. Uh, the Republicans basically thought the Gill ad, that Gill was talking about somebody else. They jumped on it. Uh, that's what I got out of watching this same story here uh, on TV last night on Channel 3 and sh the CBS affiliate in Champaign. Uh, and we'll, we'll uh, take a break um, and we'll have weather. Um, you can email me at newsview at email.com. We'll be right back. Michael Badger, and this is your weather forecast for this weekend in the Champaign-Urbana uh, and um, South Central Illinois area. Friday night, increasing clouds tonight, a low of 45 degrees. Saturday tomorrow, high 80 degrees, chance of thunderstorms. Saturday night, low 62 degrees with thunderstorms likely. And for your Sunday, a chance of thunderstorms or just rainstorms and a high of 71 degrees. Sunday night, 48 degrees under partly cloudy sky. 